Now that's what normal people do when they have a privacy fence. They park behind it, but watch this. And that, by the way, is his daughter. Normal people park behind privacy fences, but watch this. Because normal people want privacy. She comes and goes several times today, probably about four times. See, because he's accused me of harassing him, and he is the one that initiates contact with me every time, and sometimes her helping him. I don't speak to them. I take them parking outside of their privacy fence as a offensive act of aggression towards me. See, he's staring down at my car, nosy. Just doesn't even make sense. There's nothing in front of that, because I checked my other camera, there, there's nothing in front of them that would prevent her from parking behind the privacy fence. I take this as a overt, offensive act of aggression towards me because he's being nosy and looking down in my yard and looking at my car, which he's always done. He's made pictures looking inside my car. I mean, coming and going, coming and going. He's probably telling her to do this because this is how he does. He likes to try to intimidate and annoy in any way that he can. You know, being outside of your privacy fence so that you can look at my car and look inside my car, see what I'm doing. I've been outside most of the day, um, killing weeds, pulling, pulling stuff up, gave some plants to some neighbors out of my yard. They came up and dug it up, gave it to them. Mexican petunia. I sell plants and I, so I'll, you know, I was down there pulling up a bunch of morning glories on my embankment. It's just, it's a form of intimidation. They say that I harass them. But every time there's any contact, it's them making contact with me. If I was harassing them, then why would you want to try to provoke something by parking outside of your privacy fence. If if somebody was harassing me, I would be parking behind my privacy fence to get away from them. That's what a normal person would do. And this right here is an indication and a symptom of the fact that they are lying to the police and telling them that I'm harassing them when it's them harassing me. Today, they were very quiet. They didn't come outside uh, overtly and say anything because I think his attorney has talked to my attorney and they know that I'm tired of it. I'm tired of them 
bothering me. I want to be left alone. I don't wish them no bad, but you know, I, I'm not going to be friends with somebody that is drunk all the time and has no respect for other people, has no respect for boundaries, has no respect for other people's property. Um, I'm, I just, we don't have anything in common to talk about, so we don't talk. I don't want anything more to do with them. The fact is, in fact, they harass me. They initiate unwanted and uninvited contact, just like right here. You know, they want to put, intimidate me and alarm me like I'm watching you, you know, instead of leaving me alone um, to get along and have peace. See, they don't want peace. They want to have a fight going on all the time. These two, especially Gilman, is an instigator of any kind and every kind of problem. He has stalked me. He's had other men involved in stalking me and so, uh, you know, and harassing me. And so this is just an indicator that really shows who the aggressor is here, them.